Hello, everybody. Sorry for the informal um, venue of today's video, but this is going to be my only chance to get it out, and I wanted to make sure it gets out. So what I want to share with everybody is that we are in the middle of a very, and, and by the way, I'm not, just so everyone knows, I'm not driving right now. I am pulled over. Uh, we're in the middle of a very, very important time in the Jewish year. And that is known as the 10 days of tshuva, the 10 days of repentance. These are the days beginning with Rosh Hashanah as day one and day two, and culminating in Yom Kippur, which is in a week. So we're actually in the third day of that procedure, of that process. What does this mean? So what we're encouraged to do on Rosh Hashanah is, I sort of like to think of tshuva, repentance, which is a terrible word, terrible translation. It really means to return or to uh, arrive at a location. I like to think of it as a like a GPS, right? So um, the great thing about uh, Judaism is that if we make mistakes, we can recalculate, right? If you turn down the wrong street, recalculating. If you get on the wrong highway entrance, it'll recalculate. We have the opportunity to recalculate also to fix things that we need to fix, to repair things that we need to repair. But what's most important about the GPS? You have to put the address in, right? If you forget to put in the address, there's no recalculating. So day one and day two, the two days of Rosh Hashanah, are about getting clear what's the address, what's the goal, what's the destination, where am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to a deeper, more profound, more, more, more meaningful relationship with my infinite creator. Okay, now I have that clarity. Now that I've put in the address, now comes the next period of the eight days that we're in now of the hard, nitty-gritty work. So we need to right now focus on what are the things that we need to fix? What are the things that we need to change? Now that could be overwhelming, because if you're anything like me, there's a, a, a an endless list of them. So what I encourage you to do is pick one thing, pick two things, maybe two things, not more. Something maybe in the what we call man to God department, which would be mitzvahs that don't involve other individuals but have to do only with my relationship with God. That can be Shabbat, that can be kosher, that can be something in that one of those departments. And then maybe something in the man to man department, in the interpersonal department. Focus on two things, but really right now is the time leading up to Yom Kippur to try to do true tshuva, true rehabilitation spiritually. We have to resolve to change things. We have to, we have to verbally commit to changing things. We have to come up with a plan how we're going to make these changes. But that's the spiritual energy right now. That's what's available to us uniquely during this time is the ability to make real change. We can work on these things all year round. We should work on these things all year round. But the ability to make real meaningful change is available to us in a unique way right now during these 10 days. So I encourage everybody to take the time a little bit, carve a little bit of time out of your day and think about what are those areas that I need to work on so I can stand before God on Yom Kippur and say, I, I, I know I've made mistakes and I know I've got things i got to fix, but I've thought about them and I have a plan and I've worked it out and this is what I'm going to do to make the changes in my life. So good luck with that, everybody. I'm available to help anybody for personal consultation during this week. If you're interested, give me a call. Have a wonderful day. All the best.